Hello class, this is Miss Augustine, and today we are going to solve some ideal gas law problems. So problem one, 125 grams of carbon dioxide is sealed in a container that has a volume of 37.5 liters, and if the temperature inside the container is 35 degrees C, what is the pressure in ATM? So we're going to have to convert from grams of carbon to moles, because N is moles, and we are going to have to convert from degrees C to Kelvin. So here's my molar mass box, 1 times carbon, 2 times oxygen, molar mass is 44.01. So starting with the given 125 grams of carbon dioxide, and then here's my molar mass. Grams of carbon dioxide cancels out. That in my calculator comes to 2.840. I need three significant digits. That would be the four. So my uh, number of moles of carbon dioxide is 2.84, and that is my N value. So now pressure is what I'm solving for. There's my volume. There's my temperature, 35 degrees C plus 273, so I've gotten it to Kelvin. There is my number of moles that we just calculated, and there's my gas constant. So if PV equals nRT, then P is nRT over V, algebra. Now let's plug in the numbers. P is going to be equal to, here is my N, here is my gas constant, here is my temperature, and there is my volume. Moles cancels out, liters cancels out, Kelvin cancels out. That's going to leave me with ATMs. When I plug it all in, I get 1.915 ATMs. Recall that we need three sig figs, so we should end with this 1. Since the number after it is a 5, I'm going to round that up to 1.92 ATMs. So the pressure is equal to 1. So problem 2. A gas sample that contains 2.26 moles is heated to a temperature of 345 degrees C. If the pressure of the gas is 958 millimeters, what is the volume in liters? So for starters, I'm going to take my 958 millimeters of mercury and I'm going to convert it to ATMs. So 958 millimeters times 1 ATM is 760 millimeters millimeters goes away, that comes to 1.206, which would round to, excuse me, 1.2605, which would round to 1.26 ATMs. So now we can identify our variables. I've got our pressure is 1.26, my volume is what I'm solving for, my temperature is the 345 degrees C, plus 273 to get to my Kelvin temperature. N is 2.26 moles, and R is our 0 0.0821 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. So now PV equals NRT. Solving for V is NRT over P. Here is my V equals, and plugging in all of the various values, 2.26, 0 0.0821, 308, 1.26. Now we're going to cancel out moles. We'll cancel out ATMs. We'll cancel out Kelvins and plug it into our calculator. We get 91.0058. It looks like we need three sig figs. Our third significant digit is the zero. So we're going to round that to 91.0 liters. So our volume in this case is 91.0 liters. Problem three, what is the mass of a sample of nitrogen monoxide gas that has a volume of 70 liters at a pressure of 2.65 atms and a temperature of 110 degrees C? So identifying the variables, my P, my V, my T converted to Kelvin, N is what I'm solving for, and R is our gas constant. Now we're going to have to do a second step to get to mass, so we have to solve for moles, and then we'll solve for mass. So there's my gas law. N is PV over RT. Plugging in the numbers, here is my P, here is my V, here is my R, here is my T. Atmospheres cancels out, liters cancels out, kelvins cancel out, and N is going to be 5.89932, 
rounding to three sig figs, 5.90 moles. Now, we have to do a molar mass box for nitrogen monoxide, one times N, one times O, there's my molar mass. So now 5.90 moles is what we solved for, for N, times molar mass. Moles is going to cancel out. My calculator gives me 177.05. I need three sig figs, so that will round to 177 grams of nitrogen monoxide. So sometimes you'll solve for N, and then we'll use molar mass to get to grams. So this is Ms. Augustine signing